hello guys welcome to a new video in this video i'm going to show you how you can install and play need for speed portion list on a modern windows operating system so without any further ado let's start the process first of all you have to insert the disk in your cd drive and you have to run the autorun.exe file So the setup is started and now click on next option. Here you will get different setup options. I recommend you that you choose custom and install all these features. Otherwise the game may not work as it did not work in my case. So I recommend you that you install all the components in your hard disk before running the game. So after you select all these components click on next. After that click on next again. The setup process will start. So installation is over and now we have the EA update installation. Click on the next button. It will install and click on the finish button. Now click on OK. And click on Yes. So after installation is over, you have to update the game to the latest version. For that, I will provide a link in the description. From this zip file, copy all the files and paste it in your game directory. After all the files are copied, you have to open this nocitycrack.exe file. Click on yes. And then it will ask if you want to play without CD. You can click on yes or no. I will click on yes. Both of them will offer you the same functionality. So after it is done, you have to check whether the game works with the default exe file. Otherwise you have to change the compatibility settings. Let's see. So the game could run. Now let's move to the uh, playing position. Let's create a character. Let's start a race. Before that we can change the resolution and start setting. Since you do not get any screen size, you have to change it using any other wrappers like Digivoodoo. So we will touch that part later, but before that we will change the settings with the default DLL files of the game. So we have changed the state settings, now let's run arrays. So you can see that the game crashed at this position. So now we will try if the game runs with Digivoodoo. Please note that the game has both DirectX and Glide options. So we were playing the game on DirectX mode, so we will try out the DirectX mode first.
copy the files from the x86 folder to the game directory and also the control panel here you can create a custom configuration file using this option and here we will choose the uh, video card for DirectX we will choose GeForce 4 Ti 4800 we will choose VRAM 256 MB and we will also change the resolution to 1080p we will also turn on anti-aliasing so now let's check if the game runs So you can see that the settings for uh, screen size and resolution came up in this uh, graphic settings of the game but I recommend you to not change that because otherwise the screen will become too small. So we will move to a race part and let's see if the race works. Ok the race is starting. So you can see that the race is working properly. So the game is working properly, now let's quit the game. So now we will try out the DirectX, uh, sorry, we will try out the Glide features of the game. For that we have to open registry and then go to this location, computer HK local machine software and if you are using a 32-bit operating system you don't have to go to this folder but if you use a 64 bit operating system you have to go to this folder and then you have to go to this folder if you are on a 32 bit system you will go from this directory and inside this direct software directory you will get electronic cards inside which you will get need for speed portion list so now we will run the game using glide mode for that you have to turn off uh, turn off d3d device which was actually turned off if you turn it on uh, there will be no difference in running the game with directx mode I don't know if it was uh, if it was done intentionally or without without any uh, reason. But if you turn it on, there will be no difference in the game. So we'll keep it as it was, and now we'll change the trash driver only. We'll change it to Voodoo Two. So after that, you have to copy. Uh, Glide files to your game directory using Digivoodoo or using nGlide. We will use Digivoodoo first to see if the game works with this uh, wrapper. We will also change the resolution here again. The game is running in glide mode as indicated by the by the logo here, 3dfx logo.
you can also change the resolution here but it will make the screen smaller so i don't recommend changing it So the game is pr properly working on glide mode 2 with, with digivodu so we will use nglide this time Actually I cannot see anything on this black screen. I think we have to delete the other files from this directory. Let's delete the Digivodo control panels from here. Let's also delete the other DirectX files from Digivodo. Okay, the now now the game is running on and glide in and glide you do not get option for anti aliasing so the logo might look uh, might look some uh, scaled one so in that case digivodo is better than and glide as you can use anti aliasing and make the uh, make the image smoother The game also works on N-Glide without any problem. So now let's quit the game. So this is a summary of what we did in this video. In order to run the game on a modern OS, you have to first install the game with the uh, with the custom option and install all the game files to the uh, to the hard disk after that you have to install the version 3.5 patch along with the no cd crack in order to run the game on windows uh, modern windows after that you have to set compatibility options to windows xp service service pack 2 or any other uh, windows uh, after windows nt and then you have to run the program with administrator privileges after you do that you have to see if the game works with the default DLLs, default DirectX DLLs provided by Windows. If it does not, then you have to use Digivoodoo in order to uh, run the game on DirectX. After you have run the game on DirectX and the game works properly, the game is playable and you can play the game. If you are not satisfied with DirectX, then you can use the 3DFX uh, Glide mode using the Glide DLLs and paste it in your game directory. Also, you can use the software known as nglide in order to run the game on glide mode. But before that, you have to go to the registry and change the registry settings uh, for Thresh Diver and change the setting to Voodoo 2 and you can now run the game. So this is the end of the video guys. Thank you for watching the video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and as always, stay tuned for more videos. Bye for now.